there are some prophetic events that will indeed play out while I was meditating I heard global prophecies for the ending part of 2024 what will play out there are certain events that will play out and I want you to be very prayerful this season. What did I say? Be very prayerful. No, but somebody didn't hear me. What did I say? Be very prayerful this season. Yes, you have to be very prayerful this season. But before I go ahead to tell you what my ears heard and what my eyes saw, there are prophecies we released here months back and we notice that God in his infinite mercy revealed them right there are some prophetic events that have played out recently that was prophesied about on this same altar I did tell you months back when this year was starting that there is a pandemic that is about to start yes, sir. Yes, sir. in fact I told you that the easiest medicine to save you from that pandemic is to it's eat green food, food. Did anybody hear me when I said yes, that? Yes, sir. In fact, God gave me another second solution. to the. As I'm talking to you, there's a serious pandemic. The world is shaking. Mm. They call Mpox. Can we take a look at this prophecy? How the prophetic message came. First, Black Miracles Prophecy Confirmation. Hear me. There is a dreadful event about to happen. I heard in my room of prayer, pandemic, strange sickness. Pandemic strange sickness coming again. It came Ebola, it came after Ebola. Which one? How many of us? Last of fever. No, there is one now. COVID. COVID now, God told me something is cooking up behind the corner. There is a pandemic about to be unveiled to the globe. Hear me? There are things we unveil with wisdom. So our videos don't get knocked, knocked down from YouTube and Facebook. But I can tell you, it is not natural. Did anyone hear anything now? Yes. Sir. It is not natural. natural. God can never give us a message and not give us a solution. It is a very short prophetic message. Because I see people being, I see movement being restricted again. I see buying and selling being restricted again. But it won't be like that of COVID. But I can tell you that it will restrict people. Hear me. There is a prophetic message that came with this. It says the solution to this based more on natural foods and natural fruits to build your system to withstand whatever is coming. I'm not a doctor, but I serve the doctor of all doctors. Yes, sir. Yes. I am not a physician, but yes, I serve sir. the great physician. Yes, sir. I am not a, a gynecologist, uh. but I serve the one who can do anything that you wish him to do uh, yeah, yes, sir. so he gives a prophecy and he gives a solution yes, he sir. says best more on natural foods yes, sir. stay more away stay away from canned food canned foods build your system build your what system there are some vitamins there are some things there are some cells that are not working properly in our bodies like as i am sweating i'm preaching on this altar i am losing some things from me as i am cleaning Put this hanky under a microscope. It is not pure. Again, there are some particles that will be seen. Where we are they from? From my body, which means my body is excreting living thing, excreting organisms, living thing. You don't replenish back with canned food. You replenish back with living thing, natural food back. Yes, sir. Is somebody hearing me now? Yes, sir. Build your systems. Eat fruits every day. Uh, economies. Eat fruits. Money. Drink lots of water. This may sound unusual in our prophetic message, but I can tell you in the next seven months, eight months, nine months, ten months, based on natural food, it's more of vegetable, it's more of carbs, it's more of orange, mango, guava, pineapple, ju some juice. Check if it is mixed color. If it's not natural, don't drink some things. In fact, stay far away from canned products. Build your system because what I see coming 
it takes a natural a naturally strong man and a spiritually outstanding man to fight that pandemic this video you will go back to this video when it happens and I, whatever they want to bring as antibiotics can never be as powerful as you building your system now the World Health Organization has declared that a fast-spreading new variant of the highly infectious disease Mpox is a global health emergency. It's the second time in two years it's been declared as such. The continent's leading health body, the Africa Centers for Disease Control, had already warned it could spiral out of control unless measures are put in place to limit its spread. He is the Director General of the WHO making the announcement. Today. The emergency committee met and advised me that, in its view, the situation constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. I have accepted that advice. This news Our health just correspondent broke out Dominic Hughes told us what the ago. announcement from the World Health so Organization it's means. It's as new as fresh, and the world is beginning to tremble again. Another pandemic. Chicken, uh, it's not chicken pox, M pox. We don't yep. know what the M stands for. Then we saw a typology of people with it all over their faces, covered with what I don't know. Covered, and it is spreading gradually, gradually, global. That is World Health Organization. That is World Health speaking, releasing that the world should be a standstill again. But I want to pray. Ebola came, it didn't kill you. Yes, sir. Which other one? COVID came, it did not kill you. Yes, sir. But I gave you, I told you before this time, what did you increase? Please reduce this back. I told you before this time that it will come, but it will not kill you. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. And those months back, I told you, dwell on natural food. And I'm resounding again, do what? Dwell in natural food. We are not only reading Bibles here. Eat more of veggies. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Build your system so that when it happens, you know, you can't be in prophetic church and you, things take you at unawares. At all. I told you that a global pandemic is coming. Is there not the news? Yes, sir. Mpox. Yes, somebody sir. was saying it's this country, that country, it broke out. This country. God told me again. He showed me some countries that should be careful. I heard it clearly. Zimbabwe, be prayerful. Mm. Ghana, be prayerful. India, be prayerful. UK and some part of America, Nigeria, I mean Nigeria, inclusive, must be prayerful. 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 Let me tell you, Mpox is one of such sickness that we see as physical, but it's another spiritual thing about to come up. God told me, you gave the first solution, here is the second solution. Yes, sir. If you are hearing me, if you are an atheist, you are not a Christian, you don't believe in Christianity, but for your life's sake, do what I'm going to tell you. Based more on natural food. Do you hear that? Yes, yes sir. sir. Number two, don't joke with communion table. As simple as you see what we have done now, God told me, every Wednesday till this year is over, serve communion in church. And he called it communion against pandemic and untimely death. Oh. You know, things of this world. I told you a juju priest will give somebody something, lick this thing. And the person will believe that when they lick that thing, the day will go well with them. Because a priest spoke over it. And here is a priest higher than juju priest. Yes, sir. Telling you that when once that communion is blessed, it protects you from anything. Yes, sir. Whatever. Let the pandemic come from any corner. Mm. As long as you do these two things, if other prophecies I gave failed, then don't believe in what I'm telling you. Uh -huh. Because before it is happening, God revealed it. Yes, yes sir. sir. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, yes sir. Did I talk about pandemic? Yes, sir. yes, sir. And did God tell us what to do? Yes, sir. That one was a physical thing. He added a spiritual. He said every week, eat green things. It could be veggies. Don't overcook it. Eat. Garden eggs. As little as you can get. Drink fresh water rather than all these carbonated drinks you drink. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, yes sir. sir. Every Wednesday, appear for this special communion against whatever thing we preach. On Wednesday, we must take that communion. Communion against pandemic. So we fortify ourselves waiting for it to come. Because yes, it will manifest too. Yes, sir. 
Am I talking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Let it come. We are ready. Oh. It can't kill us. At all. And that I took it, it must protect the whole of my family. Amen. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. That you took it, it will protect your loved ones abroad. Amen. The ones abroad that they are taking it, it must protect them. Amen. As what we are doing here, they are joining us to the, you know, before anything happens, God, they, what is the work of prophecy? It is not to put fear in you, At all. but to direct you on how to pray. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, prophecy for pandemic came months ago. And God gave us one solution, physical eating. He has joined spiritual one. Eating physically well and adding spiritual food, the communion. That's the first message he gave me for the globe to be ready for. Number two, I see the failure and collapse of governments. And I'm not to mention the names of these governments or countries. But I can tell you, you will watch in your news and you will see the collapse and fall of government three countries four states in some countries when i say collapse of government it could be the death of their leads it could be disorganization overthrowing of overthrownment of dethronement of whoever is in the throne of that government am i speaking to somebody now yes sir so i saw it clearly overthrowing of government failure you know God's government stands sure. No other government stands more sure than his. At all. So wherever you are watching for, be prayerful for your country. Why well, I am prayerful for my own country. But I can assure you, I heard clearly and I saw clearly. You will see it in breaking news that a government failed. Though. <laughs> pray. Wherever you are watching for, pray for your government. I pray for my government. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. But in all this, God will shield you. Amen. God will protect you. Amen. You will not fail with the government. Amen. When the government of this world is failing, you will not fail. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. And this is the fourth one, third one. He told me again after he told me the first one. He said, You will hear a word. Go this way. Now, let me tell you, the, the, the word of God can come over and over again, the same word. He told me the first one, I wrote it down. He told me and repeated it again the third time. He said, tell them, don't joke with communion table. I don't know why he brought it again. Three times, two times. Don't joke with communion table this season. You know, the word have so damned Jesus Christ, damned Christianity. But Jesus will prove to them that he's alive. Yep, yes, sir. As you identify yourself with what? the communion table did you hear anything every wednesday communion against pandemic and sickness pray for your government pray for the world pray that people will realize that the end time is near there is no peace anywhere apart from in jesus is somebody hearing me now yes sir he who has an ear should hear what the spirit has said to the church let's stand to our feet if you came in now please Take the communion before you go. After we share the grace, we have already prayed over the communion. Partake of the communion. I decree in the name of Jesus that you are blessed. Amen. My God bless you. Amen. My God favor you. Amen. My God honor your request. Amen. To those of you who come from far and wide to worship with us this Wednesday, my God give you your heart desire. Amen online my god grant your expectations amen i decree this and so shall it be amen as you are going no enemy will see you no evil will be for you amen. return back on sunday with a testimony amen. in the name of god the father amen. and of the son amen. and of the holy spirit amen next wednesday this saturday coming all youth we are going out for youth rally for your convention then on Sunday, we'll go out for follow-up. Next week is Youth Higher Grand Convention. Wednesday, 6 p.m. Thursday. Is this next week or upper week? Next week now. Wednesday, 6 p.m. Thursday. Friday. 6 p.m. Saturday. 6 p.m. Sunday. 6 p.m. You say Sunday, 6 p.m. 8 a.m. God bless you, Rigo. Now, next Sunday is White Sunday. Come to church with a touch of white. We are white. God will change your garments. Amen. God showed me something. He said some people are walking around trying their best not knowing that their best has been closed with a black garment. I 
as you wear white and come on Sunday and I speak over you my God will do the incredible Amen. I said my God will do the incredible Amen. make sure you wear white and come on Sunday but if you don't have white that does not mean you should not come to church just use hanky white and come and God will do the incredible in Jesus name Amen.